This is a quick overview of the physiology behind taking blood pressure. First, let's review what we've learned about the heart. The heart undergoes a series of contractions and relaxations called systole and diastole. During systole, as the ventricles contract, they pump blood into the arteries, which increases the pressure inside of the arteries. During diastole, the heart is relaxing, so the pressure in the arteries drops, but it does not fall to zero. There should always be some pressure in the arteries and veins. We are going to try and determine the two pressures in the arteries, the higher and the lower pressure, using a sphygmomanometer, or a blood pressure cuff, and a stethoscope, which can block out all extraneous noise and focus on the sound of fluid flowing and bouncing around the arteries. First, the sphygmomanometer will be inflated to block off the flow of blood through the brachial artery. At this point, placing the stethoscope downstream will yield no sound because no blood will be flowing past the blockage point. Next, pressure on the sphygmomanometer can be slowly released until finally the inward squeezing pressure of the sphygmomanometer is a little bit less than the outward pressure of blood flowing through the arteries during the highest pressure point or systole. At this point, a little bit of fluid will overcome the squeezing pressure and make its way into the brachial artery down where the stethoscope is listening. And at this point, you will be able to hear that sound. Make a note of the pressure. This is the patient's systolic pressure. It is possible to hear this sound because the blood is bouncing off the walls of the brachial artery as you are applying a little bit less pressure than it needs to flow. Next, you will keep releasing the pressure until the sounds go away. Mark this number as the diastolic pressure. It is at this point that the sphygmomanometer is no longer squeezing hard enough for any of the blood to be bouncing off of the walls. The lowest pressure in the arteries is enough to overcome the pressure of the sphygmomanometer and just flow smoothly. So at the point where the sounds disappear, you are marking the diastolic pressure. And that is the basics of the physiology behind taking blood pressure.